Hey there guys, it's Lee here. Welcome to another crypto mining video. So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at a new uh, or revised version of a Ethereum miner uh, by Genoil. Um, the new updated version uh, released today is 1.07, that's a new version. Um, so this is supposed to have a, um, a couple of um, uh, performance improvements. So it should be a little bit fast on your CUDA cards or your OpenCL cards. So that covers um, obviously the NVIDIA and AMD cards and you should see uh, a slight performance improvement in both of those. Um, the other thing as well that's also been improved um, in this version over the previous versions that it supports um, Stratum um, for pool mining um, over the, the uh, get work protocol. So Stratum means that um, it's more efficient in terms of actually uh, getting the work from the pool and sending it back to you. Um, so that's a, a big advantage. Um, also, this miner as well um, over previous versions also has a uh, failover function. So if you're mining on a pool and the pool goes down or gets um, attacked or something like that, it gets like a, den a denial of service attack and the pool goes down, um, this allows you to have a failover pool. So you can basically set um, uh, multiple pools in there so if one goes down then you've got like a backup pool um, that's the point that I'm uh, trying to get at so it's quite useful and the pools um, can go up and down quite commonly um, recently I was mining on the uh, Ethereum pool and then it just completely um, uh, crapped out for like a day to two days um, so you don't want that kind of thing because if you don't have access to your miners um, or you're not aware of it um, you'll basically be left um, not earning any coins so the, yeah, the fat overpool is quite a cool feature. So recently been, uh, I've been using the general 1.06 uh, version and that's been working fine. Um, and today I'm just gonna show you the 1.07. So I've just um, downloaded it and it's just gonna run it from my actual um, downloads folder. Um, so this is the inside of what the, the zip file looks like. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to my original um, ETH miner folder and I'm just gonna copy across um, the batch file for Ethereum mining at the uh, dwarf pool. So let's just um, open that and just have a quick look inside. So we've just got the ETH miner dash G, which is, um, by default it's for OpenCL mining. Then we've got the pool, um, Ethereum address, and worker details. And then just pause underneath it in case it crashes, it will just catch it and um, keep the window open. Uh, I'll just have a look at see how it shows um, the Ethereum mining. Um, sorry, this straight um setup. So let's just have a look. That we just got a warning. Say don't run it. We want to run it. Um, and just comparing the the straight um setup. So it's just um pretty much uh, the same. Um, so this is just the switch for the straight um, and then you have like your straight um address as opposed to the uh, the get work address. Um, and that's a just a CUDA configuration. Uh, with the actual, so this one will be um, stratum plus a failover. So you've got the first pool here, and then we've got this uh, FS switch, and then we've got this, uh, yeah, is that right? Yeah, failover pool and failover details. So um, obviously if you read the actual help file, it will um, explain the, 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 the switches that you need to use for the um, straight and fail over and all that sort of stuff. So, um, did I already copy my batch file? I did. So let's fire it up and we'll see. Actually, let me show you. It's supposed to be a performance increase. So um, I have a an NVIDIA uh, GTX 970 um, and it normally gets about 18 mega hashes. So, um, but I run it in OpenCL mode um, with older drivers, um, the 3. Point, is it 3.5247, something like that. Um, actually, I'll just check and I'll show you. I've been using these ones for quite a while now and then I've stopped the uh, uh, 347.52. So that's the um, the NVIDIA drivers that I'm using. So uh, let's fire up the, uh, the ETH miner uh, 1.0.6. Um, and you can see it's sort of fired up fairly quickly and it's just touching about up to about 18 or just over 18 maybe. And because it refreshes so quickly, it's difficult to judge exactly what it is, but I'd say it's um, just about 18. Uh, so let's close that, and then we'll try the, uh, the newer version and see whether there's any 
obvious difference. So uh, Ethereum Dorfball. Okay, um, this is actually quite good to know. Um, if you get this area, um, it's because um, this is a uh, like a Windows, what's it like a Visual Basic um, component, um, and it can and it's missing. Um, but you can just um, copy it from one of your other ETH miner folders. It's in one of my other previous uh, downloads as well. I think it's quite easily available. So this file here, this MSV CP uh, 120, uh, you can just copy it from the other folder. So just um, acknowledge the um, the error message, and then uh, we'll just close that window. Um, so we're just going to copy it from that folder. I'm just going to copy it into this folder, um, and then we'll just try again. Okay, and that's uh, running away there. Close those other windows. So it does look a little bit fast. I'm seeing a lot more 18s, um, 19s. Uh, there is some drops in there as well, but it does look to be a little bit faster. I wouldn't say much. Um, I'd have to run it for, you know, like a day or two to kind of get a, more of an overall basis, but I'd say maybe it's a couple of percent quicker or something like that. So if you are mining and you're looking for a bit of um, efficiency, um, this will obviously uh, help you. So that's it for this video, guys. Just wanted to share um, another bit of a mining info with you. Um, hopefully you like the video. Any questions or comments, um, just put them in the box below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Um, yeah, until then, take care. See ya.